SARS and MERS coronavirus are highly pathogenic viruses and you need specialized laboratories to work with them. So the first thing we provide is specialized laboratory and specialized trained individuals who can work with these high pathogenic, uh, high containment viruses. In the past, the approach was one bug, one drug. And so you develop a vaccine specifically for SARS or a drug specifically for hepatitis C or something like that. SARS has a mortality rate of about 10% and MERS has a mortality rate of about 40%. So if this medicine could be used to treat MERS cases today, and if a SARS or MERS-like virus were to emerge in the future, it could be used to contain outbreaks of those viruses that have yet to emerge. If a new Ebola outbreak comes out, we could have this drug stockpiled and then people could be treated immediately and try to diminish the amount of outbreak or amount of people that were infected. Um, at one point, maybe we can stop it really before it gets started. Gilead has um, an outstanding reputation for developing drugs against uh, HIV and hepatitis C virus. And uh, I think they also recognize the opportunity to move into this space to provide uh, drugs against uh, newly emerging, highly pathogenic viruses that have considerable potential to cause harm. Our colleagues at UNC are experts in coronavirus biology and have developed uh, a number of different assays that allow us to test our compounds in their systems to be able to advance these compounds towards patients. And it's with this, our collaboration with our UNC colleagues has been invaluable. What I've gained from the partnership between UNC and Gilead is, I think, a once-in-a-lifetime experience for an academic virologist. They don't really work on therapeutics that could potentially save a person's life. You know, usually people in academia are several steps away from a human clinical trial. And the fact that we got paired up with Gilead when they had developed an actual medicine that was ready for prime time and had cleared phase one clinical trials in people, this is something that people like me never get to experience. The fact that we are helping to develop a treatment that could save lives within my lifetime, I think is a really unique opportunity.